Hey there YouTubers, welcome back. Yet another new machine. Um, yes, <laughs> we're having a bit of a change around. This machine, to be honest, um, has been 12 months roughly uh, in the making, as you might say. Um, it's come from the same home as the Arison Horizontal Miller. Uh, out chap just clearing out, you know, making a bit of room, downsizing a little bit, some of the bigger machines. Um, you can't cope with making, you know, they did like a big traction engine, uh, seven and a quarter gauge locos, things like that. He's now down to sort of three and a half inch sort of gauge locos um, and little stationary sort of Stuart models, uh, similar to the S50 that I built a while ago. Um, so he's just downsizing a little bit, <coughs> excuse me. Um, he had a few jobs, as you might say, to finish off um, before he let go of the of the new machine that I've got. Um, but like I said, uh, I've said to him, if you if you get stuck, you need anything, just give me a shout. You can always come round, or I'll do the work for you, whichever he wants to do. Um, yeah, so he's, he's else just letting go a little bit, um, but he's 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 cracking engineer, absolutely fantastic bloke. Uh, like I said, met him through the, the horizontal Miller, and uh, you know, just been in contact with him ever since, and still will be. Um, you know, so he's, he's, he's a fantastic guy, um, very knowledgeable, uh, very, very, very knowledgeable to be honest with you, uh, stuff he's done in, in the past and what he's made. So yeah, um, so yeah, let's have a look at it. Uh, we'll show you sort of what it is and where it's going. Uh, we'll have a little chat at the end. So where you normally see me stood, and here it is. You probably guess it from the picture at the start. Uh, Colchester Student 1800. Uh, brilliant little machine. Quite a big machine compared to the others. And uh, where's it going to be living? Well, just across here. And, yeah, we've cleared some space. And it's going to be living right there. So we'll get it installed. Uh, get it set up. And then we can make some swipe. Fantastic. So there it is. Sort of in place for now. Um, it's on a couple of wooden blocks just to raise it up. Uh, I find a lot of uh, old machines are a bit... Uh, on the short side for myself, basically every machine I have is lifted up at least three inches. I mean, my foot's up about three and a half inches. The box with it's more, but even the yeah, bogus even lifted up. I just find they're just a little bit too low, and after a few hours working on them, uh, my back starts to work. So lifting them all up to more usual height, I just find my posture's better and I, I don't get any problems. Um, I think people were shorter years ago. Um, well, it is known that they, they were shorter. I don't know if this is a reason. Um, I don't know, but I just, I just lift them all. So it's on some uh, wooden blocks for now. I will be making some sort of levelling feet for it. Or, well, getting some levelling feet, maybe making a, a frame or um, like putting some steel across with the feet on the end. I'm not quite sure which way to do it yet. Uh, but for now, it's there. Um, it's not really set up as such. It's usable. It is usable. Uh, I'll say we've got uh, a few accessories with it, which I'll go through at a later date once I sort out. Uh, they're still sort of in boxes as we brought them. Uh, but it's sort of in situ, that's where it's going to be living. Uh, I think there used to be uh, a bench there. Um, and then also we did start doing the change, the extension, and then, like I said, I'll go through what I've done. I've had a bit of a change around, which we spoke about a while ago, um, but making more room uh, for, a, for, you know, for more machinery and more work. So, yeah, it's a, a fantastic machine. Um, so we'll go through on a later video some of the features. Uh, the Colchester student, I say 1800 top speed. Um, it'll cut metric, it'll cut some imperial threads. Um, I say really, really nice bit of kit. So hoping to to do some work on that pretty soon. So there you go, YouTubers. Um, new machine for to me. Uh, absolutely chuffed with it. Uh, Colchester student 1800. I think it's a six and a half inch swing with about 25 inch swing centres. Um, got a lot of lot of accession tooling with it. Um, I say. We will go through all those in a later video. One thing that is missing, which could be handy to myself, is a, uh, a travelling steady. We've got the fixed steady, a travelling steady. Um, I said the gentleman that n never had one. He is going to ask around some of his, his friends from like various clubs he's in. Uh, like I say, he's in a few different clubs and see if we, we can get all the one. Uh, so it's something I might keep my eyes on, it might be handy. Um, we even said if not, if we can borrow one and maybe get some measurements and maybe end up making one. Not sure yet, so we'll see how we go with that. Um, but yeah, really tough with it. I said we'll go through a proper video. Um, I say it took a bit longer to, to bring in than we're expecting because the, the gentleman's drive uh, was on a bit of a slope um, and we had a bit of fun with the engine crane. It was wanting to, to, to tip over, so we just stopped everything. Um, man, managed to ring around for another engine crane, so we had two engine cranes on it. 
um, and we just sort of blocked it up as we went so we knew if anything if it did drop we were within a couple an inch or so we were catching it on on some proper blocks um, railway sleepers etc that we had knocking around, knocking around some railway sleepers but yeah that's another story um, so yeah we'll do a full video on it like I said like I say, if you do anything like that just take your time ask friends for advice or just get professional to move any anything you know any big big equipment like I say it's probably about three quarters of a ton weight um, not the not thing you want dropping on your toes really so just be very very careful so if you've got any questions on that machine <coughs> excuse me um bottom down below i'll try and answer them um i say only just got it so you know <laughs> don't go too crazy um i say i've had a little bit of a play with it made a little bit of swarf you should, you know, it's a law you have to haven't you um and uh so yeah i'll just get used to it because every every machine has its own little quirk so i'll have to get used to it um and, and go from there so fingers crossed we make, make some stuff with it in the future um so it'd be, be, be fun to you so yeah re really really chuffed uh, watch out shortly we'll do some uh, videos on the the other gentleman who's who's uh, from his, his ill health uh, getting rid of some equipment i think there's a couple of my ml sevens among other things in, in with all that i think he's thinking of, 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 of parting company with so um if you want to be a, a new custodian of a machine like i am of the the colchester um Watch out for those and we'll get those on soon. So thanks again for everything. Thanks for all your support. Um, it's, it's just fantastic. Uh, so we're building a nice little community. Uh, I'll say any questions, help each other out. If somebody asks a question, please, you know, if you see them in the comments there, if you've want to answer, you just answer. You know, if you've got a, a things to put in, don't, don't just uh, don't don't you don't be afraid to, to get involved with the questions below. Uh, it'll be, be fantastic. So yeah, brilliant YouTubers. Thanks a lot for everything. And until next time, it'll be great.